In this tutorial, we are going to walk you through special fields when adding or editing a pet. This includes the Adoption and Foster Application dropdown, the Show or Hide and iFrame widget dropdown, how to assign an adoption form and a foster form to a specific pet, the Exports checkboxes, the Pet Edit and Pet Delete permissions, and the additional pet attributes and behavior tracking that will allow you to add custom fields you want to track for each pet in the system. First, we are going to go over the adoption application and foster application dropdowns. These dropdowns are linked to both the adopt and foster button on the pet profile pages as well as the adopt and foster buttons within the pet listing iframe if you have one posted on your site. Just to show you how these buttons work, on the pet profile page you can see that the adopt button which is set to visible is clickable and the foster button, which is sent to invisible, cannot be clicked. This means that anyone can click the adopt button to fill out the adoption form for this pet, but they are not able to click the foster button to apply to foster the pet. Please note these dropdowns will also affect your pet listing iframe if you are posting it on your website. One other important thing to note about these dropdowns is that if they are both set to invisible, the pets will actually be removed from your public listing iframe regardless of the pet status. And this brings us to the next special field. This is the show or hide an iframe widget dropdown. Currently, if the adoption application and foster application dropdowns are set to invisible, the pet will not show up in your pet listing iframe on your website. For organizations that don't want people to apply to adopt or foster pets online, but still want to list the pets in their public pet listing iframe on their website and export the pet to other adoption listing websites, you will want to set this dropdown to show. This means that no matter what, even if both of these adoption and foster applications are set to visible, the pet will show up on your website and will be exported to other websites. For more information on how this works, please contact support at petstablish.com. The next special fields we are going to go through are the fields that have this Manage Dropdown Options button above them. Anytime you enter in an option into this field, we actually save that entry. So next time, if you have to enter a similar option and you start typing it in, it will automatically populate. To manage these entries and to remove them from the list, you can click on Manage Dropdown Options, select the field you want to edit, click Manage, and then Delete on the entry you want removed from the list. Please keep in mind, entries will only be saved to the dropdowns with the Manage Dropdown Options above it. The next special fields we are going to go through are the Adoption Form and the Foster Form dropdowns towards the bottom of the page. These dropdowns correspond to a specific application in the Create and Manage Online Form section. Your administrator is able to set the default forms for cats, dogs, and other pets under Application Settings. The Adoption Form will always be linked to this pet's Adopt button on the pet's public profile page, and it will be linked to the Adopt button for the pet within the pet listing iframe posted on your website. The foster button will always be linked to the foster button both on the public page and in the iframe as well. Please keep in mind you can have a different adoption and foster form assigned to each pet. The next special field we are going to go over is the exports field. When you first set up your account you will notice that there is no entry below the field. However, once you set up your export services, an option will appear that will let you check or uncheck it. For example, if I were to uncheck the Pet Finder box, it would not export this pet to Pet Finder regardless of the pet status. For a list of statuses that get exported to other websites, please visit our Frequently Asked Questions or contact support at petstablish.com. Below this field is a field that says Pet Edit Permissions and Pet Delete Permissions. As for a brief overview, anytime you assign a foster to a pet in the system, you have the option to send the foster an email with a link to create an account and access the pet's information. If you select that the foster can edit this pet, they will be able to log into their account and make edits and update the pet for you. If you give them access to delete the pet, they will have permission to delete the pet within the account they create. Please note that this is different than creating a staff account for the foster. 
If you have any questions about how this works, please contact support at petstablish.com. Last but not least, if you would like to track additional information and add new fields that we don't currently have in the system, you are able to do this in the additional pet attributes and behavior tracking section. To add a new field to a pet, you can click on change pet attribute options. From there, you can select add attribute at the top of the page. In this area, you can enter in the title of the field, the type of pet you want this field to be applied to, the values that you want populated by default in the drop-down menu, and the default value you want it set to any time a new pet is added to the system. To show you how this works, we are going to leave the pet type blank, which means it will apply to any type of pet we add to the system. For the values, we are going to put yes, no, and not applicable. And in the default value, we are going to put not applicable, meaning any time we add a pet, this will be the default value set for this field. Please keep in mind when you're adding new values, you can separate them by typing comma. Once you scroll down to the bottom and hit save, the field will be added any time you add a new pet to the system. Just to show you what it looks like, you can now see this new field here, and you could even see the entries you entered into the dropdown. Please keep in mind you can also add new entries to this list by typing in a new entry and hitting enter. Once you save the changes, the new entry will be saved for that field and it will become part of the drop down menu. This concludes the tutorial for walking you through the special fields when add or editing a pet.